Well, welcome back to NRM 435. In this application, we're going to randomly sample from soil polygons. So what we're going to have are soil polygons from Fairbanks, and what we want to do is create five random points in each ester peat polygon that has a class 20 to 40 percent slope, and then one random point in each very steep slope class. So to do that, we'll go to this website and download the data. And ultimately, we want to create a table of the total number of random points by slope class. So our first step is we're interested only in ester peat soil polygons. So we'll do a definition query to create a layer of ester peat soil polygons. So in this case, there's actually two different categories. There's ester peat 20 to 45% slope and ester peat very steep. So what we'll do is we'll do a definition query using the like operator. So like ester peat and then an asterisk as a wild card. And then we'll verify that expression. So verify it will work. And then OK. And then under general, let's name this layer and then if we open up our attribute table, we have all the ester peat polygons, and there's 40 of them. Okay, so we want to create one random point in the very steep polygons and five random points in the polygons 20 to 45% slope. So we'll add a field for the number of points. You can name it whatever you want. And then we'll select the very steep polygons. So for those, we want to calculate the number of points will be one inside those very steep polygons. And then the other will be the 20 to 45%, so we could switch selection. So for those 37, we want five random locations in each polygon. So number of points equals five. So now we have for each different class the number of random points desired. So we can use the create random points tool to create five random points in the one class and one random points in the very steep polygon classes. So that creates our random points, and we'll check. So we'll zoom to layer for this polygon should have five points inside it, and it has five points inside it, randomly located. This polygon should have one point inside it, so we double click on that row, and there's one point inside that polygon. The next one should have one point inside that, so there's one point inside that polygon. So we can either use the intersect tool or the spatial join tool to transfer the name of our polygon to every point. I'll use the intersect tool. So for example, these five points are all sitting in the original polygon that had a ID of 65, which was an ester peat 20 to 45 percent slope. And we originally wanted five points generated inside this polygon number 65. So our final step is we'll use summary statistics to create a table. How many points are there by MU name class, which will be our case field. So using either the summary statistics or the frequency geoprocessing tool, we create a table. So there's three random points inside three ester very steep polygons. And there's 185 random points in all the other polygons. So we could check by going to our original soil polygons for ester P. So here are the three polygons that created our three points from three very steep polygons. And then we had 37 polygons in the other class and 37 times 5 would give us 
185 as our total number of random points in this class.